All right, YouTube, it's time for another literary update, another booklet, which was already done, but I, I wanted to pace the releases, the actual updates here. Against Corporate Media is now available. Link in the description to the actual entry, a second link to the books blog. If you're interested in absorbing my works, there's a listing there for those. There are also many works that I've edited under various categorical headings, herbals, grimoires, alchemy, and so forth. For those of you who are into the more spiritual side, that's 99% of the content as far as the edited works go. Um, this specific work, it's 37 pages long, so about the same length as Against Communism. And I wanted to delve specifically into a little bit more detail uh, about what goes on with the ins and outs of actual legacy media, uh, the corporate media uh, as well, which aren't exactly the same all the time. You might think of some off-hook sort of radio broadcasts. They're in decline, too. They're not mainstream legacy media, per se, but they're using a legacy platform. may or may not be corporate. So it's sort of a mix and match. The two terms aren't entirely... Uh, indicative of one another. They're not entirely interchangeable, that is. Um, I make the suggestion here, number one, and specific reasons why the internet must be protected from all censorship. Number two, of course, why the old guard media would want to censor the internet. They are, they're held to a different standard, essentially. Uh, they can't say fuck on their broadcasts, and so they want other people not to be able to do so either. They're moralists, essentially. They either want to be free from their shackles or preferably shackle everybody else to hold them down to make everything boring, make everything swill. They also try to gobble up smaller uh, groups, smaller companies, uh, individuals, celebrities, and so forth. Um, they've been doing this now, even on YouTube, trying to, of course, get people onto contracts, get them aboard with some sort of corporate entity. I point out why uh, politicians love the corporate media, although uh, there is an increasing rogue movement of them to use social media more, to use a more decentralized system. We saw that in the last election. It's being used to great effect by those individuals. But the old guard still holds out. They prefer television. Uh, I point out here, of course, when's the last time anybody uh, did, did a, a, a significant debate on a radio-only broadcast without a video feed? It just doesn't really happen anymore. It might go on and give you a discussion, but beyond that, unless you have a massive audience, they're not giving you anything else. I also point to the evolution of media. <clears throat> media uh, apart from the actual corporations involved in the use of the media. For instance, uh, you go up through newsprint, you know, sort of printing press era, and pre-printing press, of course. Then the era of telegraph, things speed up, but they're still basically just text, and they're just being spread around a little quicker. Uh, then you go into, of course, you know, you've got radio, television, the earlier internet, social media era. I've spoken to this to a small degree in video form, but I wanted it to be in a booklet form. I wanted there to be something tangible that people could hold on to that's separate from my video works. And also, and here's something that uh, I think many haven't considered, the decentralized uh, news and analysis and political punditry that goes on online, especially on YouTube, but also Twitter, is fundamentally Americana. Uh, it's actually a return to what the press was meant to be in the early days, as opposed to from the carpetbag and Gilded Age crap through the uh, late, you know, modern period, like the early internet. During that entire period of time, people's view of reality was ultimately controlled by corporate groups, by business firms, and their, and their backers, of course, and by corporate politicians, the neoliberals and neocons that have been around for that span of time. Before that, Outside of big city machine politics, in many cases, that wasn't actually the case. And thereafter, in the last half decade or so, it's beginning to decline again. We're actually returning to something, in my opinion, that is fundamentally more American. It's decentralized, it's far less censored, in some cases totally uncensored. It's more raw, it involves citizen journalism, and it's out-competing a uh, completely outdated sort of mode of media technology. In my opinion, we're returning to our American roots insofar as the free press actually goes. And the corporate entities are and will continue uh, attacking people who are engaged in analysis and newsmaking online who are not part of their corporate sort of movement. They're neither a member of or backed by uh, any specific multinational corporation, which is what the news in most of the world has now devolved into. Almost There's almost no such thing anymore on TV or on radio as local news. There's some ham radio broadcasts, and then there's public access TV, and that's basically what you're limited to. They're very small. 
uh, generally unused by the general population. Online, it's a totally different issue. Online, the only significant power of corporations is in giving decentralized private individuals access to a platform to put their own material there. But the, the corporation itself, like YouTube, doesn't make a lot of videos. It's private individuals that make them and host them on YouTube. Facebook itself has no social presence. It's people that have Facebook accounts that drive the social presence. Twitter itself isn't tweeting out all day and getting, you know, hundreds of millions of people to read them. It's private individuals who are putting out tweets uh, that makes that platform dynamic. And that, in my opinion, is a very good direction to be headed, not just in the United States, but in the world at large, and I encapsulate that in this one booklet. So again, link in the description to this specific work on Amazon, a second link to my book's blog if you're interested in perusing other political, occult, and related works. That's about all. Peace out.